Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Story of Eastern Wonderland. Ah, this game. Ah, this game. It has grieved me very much in the past, and it will grieve me very much in the present, not in the future. <laughs> Actually, I'm just getting out of the almost win run, so uh, there you go. This game is so aggravating at times. Especially on lunatic mode. Durr. Because lunatic mode is the hardest. And in this game, lunatic mode is something special. Because my game is lagging a bit. But it's going to go away soon. There! So, Lunatic Mode is a bit special because it features the forbidden art of the revenge bullets. <coughs> Every time you kill an enemy, two bullets will spawn and go right for where you are. This might not seem much in a Danmaku style game, but it really means a lot. Because, because, basically if there's lots of enemies on screen, <coughs> if you don't stop shooting, then the thing becomes a huge pile of streaming, where restreaming is very hard because uh, you need to stop shooting basically, if you want any place to move back. And it makes item gathering very, very difficult. And item gathering in this game is very important because you want those power items. It's not like any other Toho game where you get max power very, very easily by the end of stage 2. In this game, you'll be constantly out of power. And getting max power is actually quite a feat. And it's the sign of an extremely well going run. Except maybe for the final boss can expect to get the max power by the middle of the final boss maybe <laughs> yeah and uh, and yeah and uh, and yeah power is a uh, is very rare and you want to do your best at getting some without ruining your chances at, at success uh, wow. <laughs> and the first stage went all right it's not a very harsh stage, except for the end there. Uh, oh, you have to stop shooting, because there's so many Mr. Ghosties! And now we have our boss! Rika in her flower tank, with a yin-yang orb on it. I don't know why there's a yin-yang orb, but it's there. And she's almost over. Don't be afraid to bomb this last section if it seems undodgeable. But here, this time it wasn't, so we're all fine. I got one extra life in points, and we're moving on to stage two. Mysterious, eerie stage two. <clears throat> with lots of red, red, red. Also lots of bats, because bats are annoying. In this game, bats are enemies which are aimed straight at you and then shoot stuff straight at you. So it's all about aim stuff. And the second type of enemy in this stage, eyes. Zune seems to have quite the obsession with evil eyes in his first games. Since we got that boss, Yugen Magan, in the first one. And now, this stage. Yeah. Yes! And more bats, and a mid boss. This mid boss is really hard. Mainly because it has so much HP and you have so little HP that you don't even have the time to shoot before the mid-boss kills you. It's really a, a bit annoying. But through clever strategy, as you can see, I've managed to survive and not die. These are the same thing, I'm just being... I'm just insisting. You have to insist sometimes. And the second half of the stage starts with evil eyes and moves on with bats. And more eyes and more bats, yeah, you know. Nothing really special right now. 
Be sure to get your power items because you will need them. Don't forget you lose power when you die and you get less power back than what you lose. And now, bats and eyes together at last in a magical combination. I let you name that combo if you want to. Don't be afraid to stop shooting for your restreaming here because uh, it does get a bit dense as you can see. And I did quite well this time. And now for the last phase of that stage. It's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of eyes. Don't be afraid to bomb if you lose control. Like what I'm doing now. There's so many stuff, so much stuff, sorry. But I'm just going to wait out and bomb. Get lots of items in exchange. And a few self spawning bullets. Of course, every stage of this game finishes with self spawning bullets. Okie dokie. <coughs> now it's our second boss, Mera. Or was it Mera? Mera. Don't really know. Oh, Remu's face is so cute here with that question mark. Uh, but anyway. This boss, she's a strange boss. She's quite hard, mainly because she's random. She, oftentimes, like this attack, she spawns bullets close to you, which, if you're unlucky, they're almost undodgeable, and if you're very lucky, nothing really happens. And right now, I'm being fairly lucky. Let's see what happens now. A bomb is what happens. I really don't want to be afraid to bomb Mera, because man, randomness is random. Also for this last phase, because you have to watch stuff coming from all over the place. And if she stays at the bottom of the screen, you're so not safe, it's not even funny. But, I did it, as Rainbow says, winking. Horror? Yeah, she thinks she killed her, but no, she didn't actually. Because death does not occur in Gensokyo. Alright, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I still haven't died. I've used three bombs, but that was to be expected. And now stage three. Oh, stage three. How much grief have you caused me? A lot. Stage 3 is a hard stage, as in difficult, because of rocks, not those Mr. Ghosties, they're, they're boring and easy, it's just streaming. Problem is the rocks, these guys. Okay, this is when it really starts, rocks coming from the backside. Ah, yes, yes, yes! I've managed to dodge this. And um, yeah, really, what the hell can you do against this? It's so hard. And now, mid boss. What you want to do is stay close to one of the eyes because uh, you're basically quite a bit safer when you're close. And when one of them is dead, what, 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 what the hell was that? I think it was something we like to call lag in some countries. Ah, but I'm still doing alright. Make, be sure you don't kill that mid-boss too fast, because it lets, if you kill it slowly enough, then it lets you skip a whole section of enemies, a wave of enemies. And I, I didn't shoot enough here, and I had to bomb. Too bad, but... I'm still doing acceptably. And now for the last phase. That stage is the weird balls. Just weird balls. The balls that say themselves aim for you, and of course, when you kill them, well, the revenge bullets are also aimed at you, so uh, makes hard stuff. Now, 
balls and a few red rocks. Red rocks? No, yeah, now. Yeah, this. I expected this to happen. And maybe that bomb wasn't needed. Oh, I'm at max power! That's how, that, however, is good news. Cell spawning bullets, you need a general idea of what's going to happen, otherwise, you're just not going to be able to dodge them easily. Okay, <coughs> boss time! It's Rebu versus the five magic stones. Actually, it's more like. Oh, bomb, bomb, bomb! Well, no bomb for me. Got confused. It's more like four magic stones and then the fifth one, because the first few ones are really easy. And that, that full powered laser is really, really strong. And it's really awesome. Well, just wasn't really careful enough here. Be sure to be to react fast to those lasers, because otherwise, good. Otherwise, it will hurt. Okay, now this thing. I know it's dodgeable. I think I've dodged it once, but really, you don't want to take the risk. It's just not worth it. Now it's time for some streaming. Good old streaming. And then this. Now, lasers first going inwards and then going outwards. If you don't know this, you're screwed. So, do your homework, kids, and bomb at the end if you're not comfortable. Okay, stage three is done, that's two stages left. 